I'm going to draw a motorcycle fuel tank using the gradient mesh tool for some intricate shading. It's quite a simple um, picture and what I've done is I've imported it and put it onto the first layer and locked it so then it won't get accidentally moved. Now I'm going to produce it by using a circle to start with like that, give it the full length and the reason I've used a circle and not drawn around the tank is this. This one was one that actually drew the tank with the, with the pen and you can see that the trouble is these lines go a bit haywire so the shading becomes um, a bit strange around these points so you're better off starting with an oval like this and then adding the points as you need them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll give it a little bit of transparency so then we can see what's behind it. There we are. And I'm going to use a pen tool, add a point there and move it across. That'll be fine for my top point. Let's move this one down to the left hand side and this can be the base of the tank. Just got to adjust these little points here. That needs to be at that angle. Up here like that. A little bit longer. And that one obviously needs to be straightened like that. This is too wide at the end now. It's quite narrow this tank isn't it at this end. So let's just pull that bit up as well. Yeah, we need to go down a bit at the bottom don't we? Go down there and across on that one. Okay, that's not too bad. A little bit up there perhaps. Okay, I'm happy with that. So what we're going to do is move it out of the way so then we can add the shading. Now go back to your 100% opacity and you can give it a colour now. So I can use my dropper tool and make it that blue colour. Okay, now I'm going to use the gradient mesh tool which is here on the palette and then add my lines. Now you don't want to add too many because it's quite simple shading. All you want is a bit of shading here and there and a bit lighter here and the dark bits along the side. So I'm going to add one here near the front and for this top bit I'll have one up there and for the bottom one across there and then we want that bit at the end as well don't we so let's put one there as well. Now that's probably enough so let's have a go. You can colour them by just selecting with the lasso tool obviously all the ones along the top they're all going to be that slightly darker colour. There we are and then again with my pen tool using the I option on the keyboard. There we are. Now that's coloured quite a large amount of it. We also need um, this end here don't we that needs to be the dark colour let's go and grab that there we are we seem to have missed one up there don't we it seems to be a bit of a spot around there let's just grab that one there we are it's better and the ones at the bottom let's click it away so we can unclick the ones that we've already done then let's do the bottom part which is quite dark. Yeah, I think we need to do those two as well. Let's do those two. And perhaps that one at the front. There we are. That's our dark colour again. I think it's slightly too dark at the bottom there. It's 
let's just go across there and um, make sure they're all a slightly lighter colour. There, that's better. Okay, now in the middle ones, you want to give it brighter blue colour. A bit like that. And then these ones, you can grab ones individually and press the shift key and that'll grab the ones you want to colour one by one. So in that case we'll have that as this sort of blue. Okay, now, now I think we perhaps want one more colour here for this lighter blue here. Let's just add, add that. Okay, and then select those ones in the middle there and give them that lighter blue. That's not bad. It looks a bit bitty though, doesn't it? I mean, it's the sort of thing you can sort of play around with until you get it right. Okay. Well, okay. That's um. It's uh, it's not that's not bad. Not bad. Um. It just demonstrates how you can get this subtle shading. It's not exactly the same as the one underneath, but it's quite nice. Now what we can do is get rid of that. I've actually already drawn the logo so we can add that and we've got a cap now there, there's a highlight point which is here I'll show you how I did that let's get rid of that one all you need to do is uh, I've got white on my brush I'm using the circle tool and use your shift key so it's a perfect circle what we need to do Go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur, it shows you it's a, it's a bit softer, okay, <coughs> quite nice but it's probably a little bit too strong, so what you can do is give it a little bit of transparency, make it slightly paler, okay that's fine, that's basically how it's done, so it's a very useful tool and you can experiment a lot with it and get some very very subtle shading and it looks really quite nice okay